Hey guys, so just want to, uh, we'll show off a little bit of art I picked up and tell you about a new set of software uh, that I got that I'm really excited about. If you are very tech savvy already, figure it out, spacedesk.net. What this is going to let you do is extend your desktop onto any other device. So in theory, well, in, in practice, because I've been doing this, I should be able to just once I've got this connected, drag any app or game over onto my phone, put it in portrait or whatever mode, landscape, and use it like another display, seamlessly too. Um, the big problem that I've had with things like uh, Google's remote desktop and stuff like that is even on the same Wi-Fi, even with this app, when I'm on the same Wi-Fi, um, there's a lot of latency, a lot of lag, you can't play games on it. Um, it's really frustrating so we'll go ahead and show you how to do this without any latency and it might might work with other apps too I've only really tested it with this but what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click download now um, after you've gone to the website and you'll want to download the 64 bit version or 32 depending on what your operating system is um, but make sure it's that the primary PC server also, sorry about the quality here. I'm using my Note uh, Note no, S7. Um, I'm using my Note 9 to demonstrate this. So I'm recording on an old piece of uh, tech here. But anyways, go ahead and download that. All right, see it's downloaded. You'll click that, hit next, next, finish, uh, just like you would any other piece of software. And you see, I've already got this thing installed. So right now you see we've got my ethernet connection. Um, that's just the regular connection that I've been using. And you can go with this connection, but you're gonna get a little bit of latency. But let's go ahead and move over here to my Note 9, if it'll focus. Here we go. All right. Order to cut down on latency. Well, first you'll want to get your uh, USB connected to your computer. I can't do this one-handed, sorry. Okay, so got my USB plugged in. Then you're gonna wanna go to connections and we're gonna go to mobile hotspot and tethering and turn USB tethering on and your Wi-Fi off. All right, Wi-Fi is disconnected. USB tethering is on. And you might have to restart the desktop app, but what you should now see, yep, there we go. We've got my sharing device too. All right. So, what you're gonna do next is go over, after you've gone to the Google Play Store, and downloaded the Space Desk Beta. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. I'm gonna turn away for a second, just not reveal my IP address. Uh, well, you'll see anyways, we got my desktop. Below that, you'll see your IP address. Let's go ahead and give that a tap. All right, now I've just got this white display. Um, also, at this point, you should be able to click X. And all it's going to do is minimize it. So um, Space Desk is still running. And let's do a little demo here. So I'm going to zoom out. Oh, let's see if we can capture it. Sorry about the quality here. And now uh, you see that down there? You see that? Focus. We've got my desktop. My apps here, I'll just to like drive the point home. Ah, focus. We're gonna take a desktop icon, drag it over. Ah, there we go. We go up, down, left, right. I'm actually just gonna take it back and leave it where it was. So, the great thing about this that I like that nothing else. Um, 
really uses so far is that I can use my desktop's mouse and it still shows up. A lot of times for some dumb reason they feel like you don't need to see your desktop's mouse or that'll get in the way. And the point of this is just to use my Note, uh, Note 9 as an extended display. Also see there's no lag here. It might be running at like 30 FPS or something because I'm using um, USB 2.0 right now. But check that out. The audio still, still coming through those speakers. But everything's on this. So here, let's pause that real quick. Where is... Oh, I gotta get back over here. Start up a game. Get Rocket League going. Come on, Rocket League. Also, if, if, if things are displaying real funky, go to this... Oops. Sorry. Go to your display settings and go ahead and take a minute to um, uh, set up your display. So, display 4 is um, is my Note 9 here and you'll just want to go down and pick the right resolution and everything like that too so we're getting full what is that 1440p um, it's rocking it so in order to give you full demo how can I move this at this point, it's all extra. You, you've seen, but I, I really want to drive uh, that this is working. So we'll put this in windowed. Yeah, I'm on. There we go. Look, real time, real time. Oh. There it is. Oh god, I gotta focus. There it is. Play. I don't wanna create match. Alright. So here it is. Here's my note, just extended. We've got like no lag. I'm going to try and do this one handed. Check it. Smooth, baby, smooth. All right. I can't score and play and record at the same time I actually use a controller for this, but um, but there you go, there you have it. Um, seamless, lag-free uh, uh, gameplay on your mobile device uh, through tethering. Um, if you have a tablet, um, let me know how that works out. I'd love to see if this works on uh, how this works on bigger displays like that. Um, or if you download the client version on a laptop and maybe try using the laptop as your second display. So you've got all the power of your gaming display, but um, you got a little bit more portability with your laptop. I don't know how things like that go for you. Um, thanks again for watching too. I uh, hope you learned something and find this to be useful. And have a great day. Thanks.